Captain! What are you? Oh yeah. What are you? I feel like death. Got maybe two hours of sleep on the plane and maybe two hours the night before. But we went to Thanks Puppy Dogs. Thanks, Puppy Dogs. We went to where did we go to? To get the Advil. Uh we went to Tesco. Tesco. It's fun seeing all these stores that Zoe so mentions. Um, and now we are, I'm starting to feel a little bit alive, slowly but surely. So we're walking through, we're gonna go to Hyde Park and then we're gonna start our journey. We're gonna power through, baby. <sighs> Pray for me. Daniel is intrigued by these large birds. <laughs> are they ducks? And then I think that must be a magpie or something. Got in a bus too. We're tired, so this is a nice way to see the sun. Hopefully, it doesn't rain too bad. Obviously really enjoyed this bus tour we did the big bus hop on hop off tour and we got the full like package so we got the, the all, both of the routes because there's like a red and blue line and we also got the river cruise the river cruise I wouldn't say was necessarily worth it because we didn't really see anything different from on the buses um, and the views like weren't that spectacular so I don't know if you need to do that part but we definitely loved the bus tour we got to see all the different places we wanted to see that were on our list and we wouldn't have been able to see them were we to try to walk especially because we were tired but also just because London is really big and it was also nice because we could avoid the crowds and then once we were done with our bus tour we went to finally check into our hotel and we were staying in Paddington so we had this cutie little Paddington bear statue and it was really sweet and Paddington was a pretty great place to stay because it was a little bit more quiet and residential feeling but it was also really close to everything you need. And then we ended our first night with some amazing Indian food right next to our hotel. And then we started the next morning and went off to our Cotswolds tour. We went to bed at like 8.45 last night because we needed it. And we're up bright and early. Cotswolds in the English countryside. Excited? 
He wishes he wishes he brought the game instead, but Poofy booked this first. <laughs> what was your favorite part of yesterday? Yesterday? Oh no. <laughs> I am so the bus shocked tour that we fun. Yeah, the bus tour was we wouldn't have survived yesterday without the bus tour. London is huge. We wouldn't have been able to even see all the things that we had hoped to. Yeah, I'm shocked that we made it through yesterday. By the grace of God. <laughs> make sure we saw the English countryside at least a little bit since we only had like two full days in England and this tour was a great way to do it we got to see all these really adorable historic quintessential villages of the Cotswolds and we got to see the English countryside on the way there so that was really really beautiful all the villages were very small um, so you had like an hour to an hour and a half at each place and that was more than enough time. Daniel and I both agree that it was cool and we were glad we went. With the tour, I would have enjoyed it more if I didn't have such high expectations, but that's okay. We drove through Stowe on the Wald on the way to our first stop, which was Burford. And here we stopped and got some scones with clotted cream per Linda's suggestion. And it was, at first I was like, wait, is this just butter? But it's like elevated butter, very good. And this door with the two trees next to it is apparently featured in the Lord of the Rings films. was Bibri, where the famous weavers cottages are and those were really cool to see except Sona was having a wedding photo shoot there which was kind of inconvenient for everybody else but it's all right they looked beautiful um, and we had lunch at the Swan Hotel which was included in the price of the tour and the food was very mediocre um, just to be frank. And then we went back and actually walked around Stow on the Walls, which was very cute and probably the largest village with a bunch of shops. Once we got back from the tour, we enjoyed walking around Kensington Gardens a little bit and then we went into Hyde Park again and just enjoyed this beautiful park and gardens for our last full evening in England. had to have another meat pie and fish and chips of course i like grew up on fish and chips being so close to maine and new hampshire on the coast but these were these are pretty good not quite as good but i am biased good morning it's our last morning in london how are you doing danny boy I'm packing, I'm packing. he's packing he's packing 
I slept a lot. I could use more sleep, but it's okay. I also had a giant pimple explode on my forehead, so that's nice. Um, we're gonna grab some coffee, probably a croissant or something, and then check out, and then go to um, King's Cross Station. Well, maybe sushi, hopefully sushi, for Danny Boy. Hopefully we'll get her avocado shrimp tempura rolls. And then head to Creighton's Cross Station and then go to Edinburgh. We're very excited. What was your favorite part about yesterday, Danny Boy? Yesterday? Yeah. Where the puppy dogs? Nope. Puppy dogs I already said that. One on the camera. Yeah, uh, the Cotswolds were so dog friendly. Dogs were allowed in every shop. There are so many like dog shops, which was very fun. Um, I also really liked the puppy dogs. I just, I like the cottages. Um, yeah, it was very sweet. So, that is the plan. We're going on a train to Scotland. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Then before we caught our train to Scotland, we saw this cutie little Paddington bear shop in the train station. And then we got some conveyor belt sushi per Daniel's request. And then we had a lot of time to kill in King's Cross. I was expecting King's Cross to be a little bit bigger, but it wasn't. So we had several hours to kill. And so obviously I waited in line to get a picture with platform nine and three quarters. It was pretty fun and the line went pretty quickly. We spent maybe half an hour, but we didn't have anything else to do. So why not? And then we got on our train to Scotland and saw more of the beautiful English countryside, especially when we were by the coast. It was absolutely stunning. And we saw so many sheep. So obviously I was thrilled and then we yeah arrived in Edinburgh early evening and you will see those adventures in the next vlog.